Uh, hi, my name is Luke McMullen. Um, this is a constant state of motion. My current exhibition at the Kenny's Gallery in Galway. And um, it'd be great if you could all come in and take a look. Thanks. Uh, Tom Kenny here, and I would just like to say you're very welcome to this exhibition, our second exhibition by Luke McMullen. It's an extraordinary collection of imagery. I don't believe we've ever had a one-man show in this gallery over all the years that has been so diverse in terms of the content. But having said about talking about the diversity of content, there is absolutely no denying the extraordinary skill and imagination of this man. So it's a great pleasure to have Luke and his work here in the gallery for the second time. So it's a genuine pleasure to welcome Luke to this show. And what we're all wondering here, Luke, is what prompts these images? You, you keep leaping, jumping from one subject to another, which is very exciting for us. Uh, uh, but is there any, just what inspires you? Um, I, 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 I can't really say what inspires me. Everything life inspires yeah. me. It's just like, you know, I'm bombarded by so much every day. Like, you know, yeah. there's so much interesting things like um, to paint, like, you know, whether I'm like, you know, on the internet, like, you know, and I see an image I like, or whether I'm out on my bicycle in nature, like, you know, like, you know, it's where I actually come up with a lot of my, my ideas. Like, you know, as I'm biking as well, there's like, you know, paintings forming in my head. Like, and I find it's a good way to, um, to, to be creative like and then when it comes down to it I think most of my paintings I create like in my head before they even end yeah. up on canvas yeah. yeah so yeah I draw from everything like you know and I, I tend to bounce around a lot like because I think you know for an artist that's what makes it exciting for me oh yeah new, just, new imagery coming at you all the time yeah yeah, yeah 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 and not sticking with one particular style or one particular so it's, it's 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 being playful with it i think well you're certainly having fun and yeah, it's perfectly sure, obvious yeah, yeah. Look. You have a, a unique interpretation mm. it may be nature it may be a wreck of a car yeah it may be whatever but at the same time mm. You manage to put your own stamp on these images all yeah. the time. Yeah, well, I'm constantly experimenting, like so, yeah. like yeah, yeah. There's always like you know that image, the initial image, and then I put yeah, I put my own take on it, like yeah. to almost make it mine. Yeah, <laughs> in a, in yeah a way, that's yeah. what we would like you to do. Yeah. Do you start with drawings? Uh, sketches so initially. Sometimes I'll I'll sketch it out. Depends. Like every every painting's different. Like yeah. But um yeah no I'll, I'll do a few sketches um and then I'll transfer that onto a canvas and just do the the, the primary sketching and then I kind of just build on that. Like and it's just layers and layers and layers and I might work on a piece and leave it sitting there for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And then yeah. come back to it again. Like so it's kind of like you know and once you come back to it again. You might have a different kind of style yes. or idea in your yes. head. You see it in a different way. In, in a different yeah. way, and that's yeah, yeah. It keeps it. No. It keeps it uh, changing constantly. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. You Things to, to keep the, the paintings colourful as possible. I like yeah. to make them pop because yeah. it's, it's it's something you know that I personally like. You know, so yeah, yeah. I try and keep that going with the painting. Yeah. Well, you certainly do, and they, <laughs> and they pop. Okay, Luke, well, can you tell us about, for example, these paintings here, please? Um, well, I suppose these paintings would have been fairly personal for me. Like, um, I think uh, anyone who's been in a long relationship who's had their heart broken would probably see and understand the, the meaning behind the, the, the first painting here. Um, but, yeah, that was a, a tough stage in my life, but... The second painting focuses more on, like the symbolism behind it was the caedicus, which was to do with healing and growth. So it was basically like, you know, my, me personally moving past that stage in my life um, and growth and yeah, yeah, new stages, new beginnings. Yes, and a whole different color. Yeah, well, you can see it life as well. <clears throat> yeah, 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 we're going from the very red to the very green, which is all about growth. Uh, Luke, there's um, 
often a combination of kind of street art elements like graffiti, yeah. tags, and yeah. and and portraiture. Yeah. Where does that come from? Well, it's a, it's a combination of everything like I've done in the past. Like you know, because m my introduction to art came through graffiti. Like, like when I moved into Galway maybe twenty years ago, um, I started noticing graffiti around the city. Like, and that's something that inspired me. Like, and it's 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 what got me interested in art. So I think that's basically at the foundation of like you know the art I make today. It's it's there's always going to be that element. It's like you know the the, the colors, the energy involved in it. Um, that's probably my baseline and from that like I've built on from that so I get into more like you know photorealism like you know um, and it's you know it's, it's constantly evolving I'm constantly adding in new like aspects and style like I'm, I'm always experimenting like you know so like you know that's what keeps it interesting for me like is that constant experimentation really like you know that constant play <laughs> Luke, can I ask you about this painting? Um, where's the inspiration um, behind this series? I think is it called the Animal Kingdom? The Animal and Kingdom, yeah. Why is uh, he wearing a crown if it's a he? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if it's a he or a she, <laughs> but um, I think the concept behind it was that, like you know, uh, animals seem to have like you know a lower value, like in society, like you know, um, they're not on the same level as humans, like. But I like the idea of like, you know, the animals actually being kings, like, you know, that they're um, just the same as us, that they have the same value as us. Okay, well, uh, the painting of the Massey Ferguson, like, um, I kind of inspired by the tractors, like, it's, you know, it's something I love. Um, I grew up in Peterswell, it's just a, a, a small village outside Gortlock. I think as a kid, I used to see these all the time, like, um, and it's just, yeah, it's just something about the tractor, like, you know, that's um, really appealing to me, like, they're like vintage cars or something, like, the, you know, I'm, I'm not a big car or a tractor person, like, you know, but the aesthetics, the aesthetics to me are very appealing, like, it's, um, it's something I love. Um, and then the, the same with the, the hooker paintings. Like, um, as a kid, my dad used to have a boat, like, so, like, you know, most weekends in the summer, we'd go down to Convair, like, and we'd take the boat out on the, the sea, like, and we used to see hookers all the time, like, um, and I suppose it's, a, yeah, be something I'd associate with good times. So, yeah, now I've got great love for the Galway hooker, like, and it's something I love to paint. I've painted probably more Galway hookers than anything else, and, yeah, yeah, now it's something I love. Um, you might notice the theme running throughout the exhibition and that's of duality like you, you see it in a lot of paintings like you know like you know like here it's the duality like that's present in the paintings and you see it it's probably more obvious in some of the skulls and the, the hummingbirds it's kind of that that contrast between life and death and that constant cycle uh, something that's yeah it, it's it's so I think it runs through most of my paintings in the exhibition. Um, it's just a quick question on the banana and what does it symbolise in that painting? Um, well, this, this painting I suppose symbolises for me, it's a sacrifice. It's kind of like <laughs> this banana has sacrificed its existence to make someone happy. <laughs> and I suppose it's got its just reward because it's got the halo above its head and it's rising up. So yeah, the, the paintings about sacrifice, well, for me personally, everyone's going to interpret it um, differently, but yeah. Hi Luke, I was just wondering, I was, um, I've seen a lot of pills um, in a lot of the paintings, um, the capsules, and I was wondering what um, theme that would have to do with. Um, I suppose it's to do with like you know um, modern society, like and how we tend to seek solutions in medication, as I suppose to taking personal responsibility for our own lifestyle, um, and how we can help ourselves really through exercise and diet, like, um, and how we kind of tend to seek comfort, like you know, is the the easy way out. Yeah.
Luke, I'm just a question from a kind of more of a technical side of it. You, mm. the, a lot of your paintings are very flat. Mm. And by flat, I mean that um, uh, the re there's not much relief or, yeah. or texture, yeah, yeah. but there's the illusion of texture. And I'm just wondering why you're drawn more to um, creating that effect. Yeah, well, um, I guess that's down to the paints I use, like because. Um, I started out using airbrush paints, which were like, you know, very thin acrylics, but like, you know, with high pigment content. So you can end up and you get them very intense colors or very bright colors, but you don't need to put on heavy layers. So you end up like, you know, with a very flat surface, like that's easy to manipulate later if you need to, because you don't have that kind of like texture coming through. Um, and that seems to be like a, a paint and a style that works for me. Yeah, well, funny, funny story behind this painting. Uh, I I do a lot of mountain biking, like you know, so like I'm up around the mountain quite a lot. But there's a section of the forestry where, like you know, I think local joyriders take their cars to burn them out. Um, and I just thought it was kind of ironic, like you know, the idea of like you know, um, burnt out cars on fire roads. Um, it's kind of funny because you know it's a beautiful it's a beautiful location like you know but I could have chosen to paint the landscape, but for some reason I decided like you know there was there was, there was something about this burnt out car that I really liked, and uh, yeah I thought that the irony when was quite cool. <laughs>